What's up YouTube? I'm Josh Newland and today we're going to see how much swerve and curve you can get on this ball. <laughs> have a bit of fun, um, test it, review it, try to hit some crazy shots. But first and foremost, this is not a sponsored video. It's not an ad or nothing. I bought this with my own money. I've had it for like two years now. I just never really used it much because it's not really beneficial to training. It's more just something to have fun with. But the plan is, compare this to a regular ball, do some juggling, some dribbling, and just do some shooting to finish off. So let's go. But I apologize, the audio is going to be pretty bad now. It's a little windy today. And broke my mic, my shotgun mic. I tossed the ball off the camera. But size comparison, I think it's just a little bit smaller. It's kind of hard to tell. A little bit smaller. A lot lighter though. And it bounces. Well, I thought it bounced a lot higher. I guess not. But it's, it's way lighter. Um, I think just a little bit smaller. Up close, you can see it has some pretty big, big grooves on the panels, which I'm guessing is what gives it all that curve and swerve. I'll just give this some jump. All right, so I wasn't originally gonna voice over. I was just gonna talk in the mic. My mic broke. Anyways, as far as juggling goes, really not too much different than um, regular ball other than just being a lot lighter but it doesn't it doesn't bounce way too hard off your foot or anything like that it's just light and and when I was testing it just kicking it up really high trying to bring it down to the ground was it too hard to control um, but sometimes when you do kick it up really high the wind will kind of take it and because it likes to swerve and curve around it'll be hard to predict where the ball is gonna land As far as dribbling with this ball goes, again, not a major difference, just lighter, a little bit smaller, but sometimes it almost feels like it's flat when it's really just light, like it'll be pumped up all the way and it's just so light and it just feels weird like if you step on it too hard you're going to pop the ball because that's how it feels. So kind of being, felt a little cautious when I was dribbling, but still not, not a major difference, not too much different. Pretty sure the, the main difference is just the shooting aspect. So only having one ball, <laughs> you know, the majority of my time I spent just running and shagging it. Um, but I try to compare with some regular balls to hitting the same exact kind of shots and you can see the difference, the huge difference between the curving put on it with a um, kicker ball and then with a regular ball, it's, it's crazy.
So as I was saying, I thought my you know swaz technique wasn't wasn't that great. But I also haven't tried in a while. And then those few balls realized maybe it's not too bad. But this shot coming up, just insane. Um, yeah, again, just proof you can never do this with a real ball. And one of the last tests I want to do is shooting, just try and hit with some power, see how it moves. And honestly, it pretty much just goes straight if you hit it straight, which is pretty nice. Um, I didn't know what to expect, but if you just go straight through with your laces, it'll, it'll fly straight. And of course, finally, corner kick challenge. I've never been good at this, um, as you can probably tell. Especially not the swaz technique, which I'm going to try next. But literally, the problem was literally had too much curve. Like, it was bending before it got to the goal. Like, it was almost impossible to to get out far enough that it would bend and curve back into the goal for it, doing it before it gets there, if you know what I mean. Alright guys, so that's all the footage I have with the kicker ball, my swerve ball. I don't know how I could really rate it because it's its own thing, it's to have fun, hit some crazy shots and stuff. Like I said, not meant to help you with training really, just something to have fun with. But this ball is insane. The curve, the swerve, the dip you can get on it, and without even really trying to, um, it's just crazy. It's a lot of fun to play around with this. But if you like this kind of video, um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos, me testing, reviewing, trying out fun different things. Um, I'm definitely not going to shift the whole focus of my channel to that at all, but every once in a while it's fun to make a video like that. I also just started season two of my off-season series, I'm taking you guys through what a college soccer player's off-season is like this time. I'll be home for the summer, and in the first episode, um, I got on with the UPSL team. I'm going to be training with them three days a week, so I'll be showing you guys what that's like. So don't miss out on that. Go check that video out. Go check out that playlist. But thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. I'll see you on Wednesday.